Right now, what we're gonna talk about is shooting canid. The importance of being level, we're gonna talk about that, but we're also gonna talk about when you don't have the option. Obviously, that's when we got bubble levels and we put them on all our optics, is because it's real important to be level with the world every shot, but sometimes we don't have that option. That's why with our level from Accuracy First, we have lines every two and a half degrees, so it shows you the amount of cant that you have and understanding the math still allows you to take the shot. So each line is two and a half degrees, which equals about a half of a tenth of a mil every two and a half degrees every hundred meters. So for canted five degrees right now, which actually we're a little bit over five, we're canted five degrees and I don't have time to change it. I know I'm canted to the left, therefore my bullet's gonna hit to the left. Well, the math tells me it's gonna be 0.1 mils every hundred meters. So if I'm shooting 500 meters right now, I'm gonna have to hold a half a mil away from the cant. All right, so I'm gonna aim to the right right now a half a mil because my bullet's gonna hit a half mil left at 500. All right, so if I come into position like this, I, you know, there is an option of reaching up, getting some more bipod, but if I don't have that time, I can just look at my bubble and see that I'm canted. Now that crosshair is where you zeroed, so your bullet's gonna fall directly down from that. It's not gonna fall in the angle of your reticle. So that's what we're talking about, about shooting canid and using the reticle to actually, or using the, the level to actually see how much can I have and then do the math mentally. You always want to aim away from the direction that you're canid once you understand how much math that you need to apply. So the simple rule is two, two and a half degrees of angle gives you a half of a tenth of a mil every hundred. And as you continue to work this can around, all right, if you use more and more canid, the mass still works, but once it gets out to 45 degrees, things have changed. All right, so this is a position that a lot of the uh, tactical people, where it's law enforcement or military, will utilize. But even as a hunter, you can still utilize it because it creates a very stable platform up here. This is something that, you know, you can let the gun go and it just sits there. Now, everything's changed from my zero, all right? So I've accounted for gravity in my elevation turret. Unfortunately, gravity's not going to go left to right like it did going straight down as far as my elevation turret's concerned. So the bullet's going to drop about 2.7 inches in the first 100 meters. I accounted for that when I zeroed, which is going to make my crosshair now go across the actual flight path of the bullet. So the bullet's going to go left of my crosshair, and since I haven't accounted for gravity in my windage turret, it's going to hit left and low. All right, so that's something that I know I've got to account for. My bullet's going to hit about a mil and a quarter left or a mil and 0.4 left. It's going to hit about 1.4 low. All right, so it depends on bore height. All right, so that's, that's something that you're going to have to work on. It's actually pretty easy just to lay down 45 degrees at 100 meters, set up and shoot it, and you can actually track exactly where you're going to, your bullet's going to go. And that is now your new zero for, for this type of shooting, what we call side prone. All right, same thing you've lost a lot of your cheek well now. So it's real important that you place your eye in the center of your scope using that scope shadow that we talked about. Again, same process. I'm gonna actually utilize this hand to stabilize. I'm gonna pull my right leg up. If I can, I'm gonna put my elbow on it and I'll end up shooting from this position just like this. Now, for a lot of tactical uses, this gives me a lot of uh, cover behind this rock so I'm not exposed something like this while I'm taking the shot. Again, though, you're gonna end up having like a chicken wing out here to support the recoil of the rifle. And you can line up and actually, this is a very stable position to actually shoot from. So understanding cant is very important and understanding where you just a little bit of cant all the way to side prone is a lot different, but it's actually something you can utilize and have a lot of fun with. So if you're looking for a place to shoot, go to wheretoshoot.org. Remember, be safe, have fun, take the family.